Mark has a question. When you get the deed in a trust, do you have the seller get a wrap so they will have recourse since they're giving up the deed, yet they're still responsible for the debt? Uh, as I said in my previous question, we don't like that scenario, and we try not to do that. Uh, if the seller's insistent and the deal is good, yes, we will do that. But I, I'll tell you, uh, I haven't found a deal good enough where I couldn't get it done the way that I want to do it. So uh, it would really have to be a screaming deal for me to give that give that sort of thing up. And, you know, you can record a performance mortgage for your seller uh, if there's no equity or they're not looking for anything. And it's just something that gives them an instrument to foreclose on you. Uh, but I've never had to do that either. Um, you know, and I don't like that scenario. And I'll tell you why. A lot of people that you're going to deal with are going to be in, in distress. They're either going to be getting a divorce. They're going to be in foreclosure. And a lot of those people have problems in other areas of their life. And 95% of the time when we get a deed, we never ever see or talk to the seller again. So let's, let's say that in this scenario, you give the seller a wrap or you give the seller a performance mortgage that gets recorded at the courthouse that they have to satisfy two, three, four years down the road when your buyer is ready to refinance. Now let's say that seller has ghosted. What do you do? You either have to get your title company to insure around that problem uh, or you just can't, you, you can't deliver good title. So what do you do? And that's why we don't like to give the seller uh, a security interest at the courthouse, especially if they don't have anything coming to them.